hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn about loops in powershell so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel i request you to please subscribe my youtube channel so let's get started loops are very important in programming there may be a situation when you need to execute a block of code several number of times in general statements are executed sequentially the first statement function is executed first followed by the second one and so on a loop statement allows us to execute a statement or a group of statements multiple times right so we have multiple types of loops in powershell for example for loop for each loop while loop and do while loop okay so we will learn about each one by one so first we will learn about for loop in for loop what happens is it helps you to execute a block of code to a specified number of times right so we will learn about that in my previous video i told you that you can declare a variable using dollar dollar sign and the variable name and if you want to declare an array you can use add the rate right and then the, you can use the brackets then you can specify the values and as i told you in the last video that you can also include different types of data when you are declaring an array right so you can also have string you can also have numeric values like that so for example i will include the value as mark to initialize this variable i will just click on run selection so this variable is initialized the syntax of the for loop is you need to use for and then parenthesis right and then you need to declare a variable which can be i is equal to zero because we want to start with zero right and then we will put the semicolon right and then we will use again dollar i and then there is a operator which is lt lt is used for hyphen lt is used for less than hyphen gt will be used for greater than right so we will be using the hyphen lt for less than so which means dollar i is less than dollar a which is an array dot length which means number of items present in the array and then we want to increment the variable right then i will use the curly braces and what i want to do in this case is i want to print all the elements or all the items of an array of array a right so to print the value of an array what i will do is i will use the dollar a right which is holding all the items and then in the bracket in the square bracket i'll put the dollar i because what dollar i will hold is initially it will have zero which is the which is you know index which will work as an index for dollar a which is an array right and then in the next iteration the value will be one so it will print the value of the uh, of the array which is uh, which will have the 54 at the index one right and in the next iteration the value will be 76 like this okay so because i have already initialized the variable which is array i will select these uh, this this section of code and then i will click on run selection i forgot to mention the variable so i'll just put i and then i will select it again and execute the code and here you can see that it has been able to print all the values of the array so the next loop is for each right so what we will do is we will deal with the same array right 
and then we will use for each right and then we will use parenthesis here we need to define a variable which will hold the current value so let's say I'm going to use the dollar I which will hold the current value and then in right and then dollar a so dollar a is a is an array right then I will use curly braces then what I will do is I will just write the dollar I if I select it and run the script you will see that it is able to print all the values of the array right so the next loop is while loop right in while loop what happens is we first check the condition and then we will execute the piece of code right so the syntax will be while and then we will use dollar i and then as i told you hyphen lt will be used for less than right and then we will compare the dollar a dot length which will give me the length of the array so we are just basically saying that if dollar i is less than dollar a dot length then what we want to do is we want to print the value of the array so dollar i is going to hold the index right and then what we will do is we will come back and say dollar i plus plus right and what we will do is we will here define you know initialize the variable dollar i with zero which means in the first when when the when when we will start the execution dollar i will have zero so i will select this and run the script and as you can see it is able to print all the elements of the array there is another way to you know use this uh, increment so you can say that dollar i plus is equal to one now if you select and click on run selection you will see that it is st still able to print all the elements of the array okay so the last one is do while loop the difference between do while loop is that in do while it will be executed at least once okay so the syntax for this will be do and then we will use the curly braces and then what we will do is we will come back and print the value dollar i and dollar i is something which is going to hold the index right so first we have initialized dollar i with zero now when it will come it is here it will come because dollar a is an array and here we will specify the index so it will have zero so it will print the value in the next line what we will do is we will increment the value of dollar i right and here we, we will come at then we will say that while dollar i is less than dollar a dot length now if we will select this code and run it you will see that it is still able to print all the elements of array right so these are four types of loops in powershell so one is for loop another one is for each loop and the next one is while and to while right so if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day